how are students assessed in the direct instruction programs? Students are assessed through several different means to ensure they master program content as they receive instruction that is geared toward their skill level. The teacher's guides contain placement tests that provide an initial snapshot of students' skills. Students are tested in each subject area to determine which direct instruction program and level matches the student's skill repertoire. In many cases, more than one test needs to be administered to determine a student's initial placement. For instance, a third grade student that fails to pass the third grade and second grade placement tests for reading mastery should be given the first grade test. If the student passes the first grade test, then she should be placed into that level of the program. The length of the testing process varies depending on program and level. Note that some levels of the DI programs have more than one initial starting spot. For instance, Students who place into the kindergarten level of the Reading Mastery Language program can start at Lessons 1, 11, 21, 31, or 41. After students have been placed in the program and grouped for instruction, in-program assessments allow for regular checks on students' mastery of the skills and content covered in the DI programs. There are three types of assessments mastery tests, cumulative tests, and checkouts. Mastery tests are designed to test students' knowledge of skills and concepts introduced since the last mastery test. They vary in length and difficulty depending on the sophistication of the program level. They usually occur every 10 lessons in most DI programs, but there are exceptions. For instance, mastery tests in the Essentials for Writing program occur every 5 lessons through Lesson 20, then every 10 lessons through Lesson 80, with the last mastery test occurring on Lesson 95, the last lesson of the program. In addition to mastery tests, several DI programs contain cumulative tests, which summarize the material covered over a much larger number of lessons than the mastery tests. Each level of the Connecting Math Concepts program contains a mid-level cumulative test, which assesses students' knowledge of the first half of that level, and an end-of-level cumulative test, which assesses students' knowledge of the whole level, with a strong emphasis on material covered in the second half of the level. Spelling Mastery and Essentials for Writing also contain end-of-level tests. If a student fails to pass a mastery test or cumulative test, the student is retaught the material and retested until the student passes. In several of the DI programs, such as Connecting Math Concepts and the Language Track of the Reading Mastery program, mastery tests are divided into different parts with specific passing criteria for each part. If a student earns less than the passing score for any part, the student must receive specific instructional remedies and be retested for that part. The reading programs contain checkouts, informal reading inventories designed to assess students' accuracy and fluency rate with familiar material. Students individually read a selected passage from a story the students have already read as a group as part of their daily lesson. The teacher records the time it takes for the student to read the passage and the errors made and matches them against the preset time and error limit. If students do not meet the criteria, they reread the passage. Students start the checkouts once they can read connected text. In Reading Mastery, this occurs on Lesson 108 of the kindergarten level of the program. The students are given checkouts on Lessons 109 and 110, then every five lessons through the Grade 3 level of the program. 
Checkouts appear every 10 lessons in the upper two levels of the program, grade 4 and grade 5. In contrast, the Corrective Reading Decoding program contains daily checkouts in all levels of the program to provide a close check on remedial readers' accuracy and fluency.